You kind of saw a little bit about what's going on. Not really sure how much, but today is actually Saturday. I had to work today. I'm off work. You saw I went to the grocery store. And now we are home. So I'm going to be kind of vlogging and doing a lot more talking today. Well, the rest of today. And then Sunday. And then that'll be the end of this vlog. So I'm looking really crazy. I know. I know. I'm looking crazy. But I'm about to try a new product. And it is called the Boncoro Rehab Solve. It is a like protein treatment for your hair and I already know that I have low porosity hair so I'm the container tells me that I'm supposed to uh, saturate my hair like while it's soaking wet with the product and leave it on my hair for 15 minutes every four to five days so we are trying to bring these curls back y'all know when I got my hair cut how that front looks and you'll also see it when I get out of the shower so I do believe that there is potential um, to kind of save this so we're gonna start focusing on my natural hair health that is the goal guys so i'm not doing if you follow me on instagram you know that i said i'm not doing any more heat on my hair like my beautiful press outs <laughs> will be no more um it's really difficult when you have natural hair to kind of do both i mean you can do it and yes sometimes the curls come back but then sometimes they come back damaged and it's just a risk you take every time and i want to like go without heat and really see like the potential of my curls and take care of it and get on a routine so that's what we're doing y'all okay so here's the product again i'm about to hop in the shower and i will be back to kind of show y'all how my hair looks um before the product and then of course after so let's go i wish i could put y'all somewhere else i'm sorry i don't know where else to put y'all but this is how my hair Ugh, it's not a great spot let's see if we can find something else for y'all i got y'all i got y'all Okay, so this is how my hair looks out of the shower. Okay, so this is the part I'm talking about in the front. You can see where it's like trying to curl, but not really curling. But like, you can see that it wants to curl. Here's a great example of one. Like, Y'all see how like the root looks? And then like the strand right here. So like, I don't know if that's really, y'all can see that. I know y'all see that, okay? We got other curls back here like kind of doing their thing or whatever too, okay? So we want this, the front area to come back to life, get the moisture it needs, get the protein it needs, um, which is what my stylist wants before she adds the color because technically this 
is damaged okay um and it does look kind of weird and stringy like you know what i'm saying like that ain't cute okay it's not cute so i'm going to go ahead and apply my products um i'm just gonna apply it in sections it doesn't really say anything specific that needs to be done so we're just gonna make sure my hair is soaking wet i have a spray bottle and i'm just gonna start in the front and work my way to the back that the mask is complete saturated my hair you can kind of see how when i like i don't know if this is like a true determination of like the healthy unhealthy hair but like you can see when i'm just moisture like pushing the product through or rubbing the product in on this strand you can see how the roots kind of try to curl up and do their thing and then you can see how this piece of hair is just straight limp and it, it like has a wave pattern but it's so limp and then when I do this, it's limp. To me, that is kind of letting me know that it's damaged. Probably about here down. Compared to parts of my hair that are not damaged, because the curl is this natural pattern, you can kind of see what it does, right? So, all these little stringy pieces, this is what they do. Nothing. They're not curling because... They're probably damaged so we're trying to save it because we're not doing a big chop again i know that it's a huge difference because i have pictures of how my hair was looking kind of early on after i had my big chop and my hair started growing back in that's how my hair was looking so i know this is not typical for me okay so in case people are like well i mean what's the big deal i don't see it now you guys hopefully see it even if you don't <laughs> this is the new hair journey that we're on so because I know I have low porosity hair, I really haven't been, oh, I need a, what time is it? Oh, it's 9.01. Okay, so we got to rinse this out in 15 minutes. So not 9.15, 14, 13, 12. I'm going to say 9.12, 9.11 because I feel like I've been having it on for a second. But, um. I know that I have low porosity hair and I typically don't get products for low porosity hair. I just kind of get what I've been using or get what I think is going to work or get products that I feel like is going to be okay, which is, that's just what I've been doing. But I'm going to do some research. So today after I style my hair, I'm going to just use products that I already have, but I'm going to do some research for hopefully maybe next week and the week after, and I'm going to start using products that are supposed to be good for my hair. It's going to be a whole routine because apparently every four to five days I need to do this thing, what I'm doing. And then um, I think once a week or twice a week I have to deep condition my hair. So yeah, like I feel like I'm going to be doing something to my hair like almost every other day. I have no idea. But when I figure out my routine, I will share it with you guys. 
and my recommendation for you guys is don't just follow every trend when it comes to your hair or really anything like do what works for you and especially do works for your hair if your hair is low or high medium porosity find products that you need for the porosity of your hair that's what you that's when you're going to start probably seeing the best results so that is what i will be doing but i'll be back in probably nine minutes now so here is my hair fresh out of the shower guys this is how it looks I'm gonna have to put in a clip next to it to see if I'm really seeing something different cause I don't know. I will say that my hair feels more moisturized. It feels pretty soft. Like this protein treatment, I, for me, it felt like it was also a moisturizing protein treatment which is very much different if you ever use like the Apple G protein treatments before. But you know, like I'm not mad at it so we're going to be doing this over the course of the, what, month, three months, six months, the rest of the year. And we're going to see how much of a difference it makes on my hair. I don't think I lifted up the back for you guys in the other clip, so I don't really know what to compare it to. But, I mean, they look like they're trying to do something, right? Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and style. I'm going to do... What am I doing tomorrow? Tomorrow I'm doing going to church and I'm also going to be trying to create some content. So I think I'm going to go ahead and just do a wash and go. Yeah, that's the wash and go. We're going to be using the Miel Conditioning Leave-In Moisturizer. I'm going to be using my Extreme Gel. You guys seen this routine before and I'm going over with my Wee Dad and of course my denim brush. So let's go. First of all, I got my camera, I turned my camera off because I was getting annoyed. Y'all, I forgot to rinse out, like actually wash with the product. I just got out of the shower, rinsed it out and showed y'all, but I actually had to go back in shampoo condition again. It is now 10, 19. I am annoyed, <laughs> really mu very much so annoyed right now. I honestly didn't even eat when I left work. I've been snacking, but I, I didn't get to like sit down and cook my food and eat. <sighs> So I just finished my hair, put this on my head, and honestly, it is what it is in the morning. So I'm gonna show y'all what the final product looks like and give y'all the final review on this product. I'll probably have it linked in the description box if you if I miss that part, but I'll let you guys know if I like it or don't like it um, based off of me seeing the rest of the clip. And if my hair don't look good tomorrow, we're just gonna put it in a ponytail because at this point, I'm over it okay so good night i will see you guys sunday morning with a better attitude <laughs> So this is kind of how my curls are looking right now. I really don't like how this looks so dry and then the bottoms look the bottom of it looks really good. You can kind of see that, right? Um and then in the front, you guys saw that I used little rollers for like I had like four rollers in here. So I don't even know which pieces I had it on, honestly. Um obviously that one probably one right here but it looks like i needed some more rollers over here and right here so yeah um i wondered if i had like some kind of little oil or spray or something to bring some shine back to it but i can't think i don't have anything so i'm gonna be on the hunt for some more products because this is not giving giving like i wanted to give give <laughs> Y'all probably like, girl, what? It looks good. Would you crazy? I don't know. If you just know how your hair typically is, then you just know when it ain't giving what you want it to give. 
So, um, but whatever, we're going to carry on. Hey, beautiful people. So I thought this was the perfect spot to go ahead and insert this week's motivation. Lately, I have been dealing with and going through the process of letting go, whether that is people, comfortability, or just things that really don't serve me anymore in this season of my life. It's painful to have to separate, but my question is, dramatic effect, is not dealing with temporary pain worth it? Is it worth what waits ahead? Sometimes it hurts to heal, it has to shed to blossom, and I think it's really time for us to just let go and let God. I say that because I think ultimately, if we dig maybe just a bit further, we'll find that letting go is really about us losing control, not having control. And for those that are like me and like to have a plan, sometimes it's really hard when the plan doesn't work out how you thought it was going to work out. But I promise you, it is much better. All right, so now that we have our makeup done, we gotta get an outfit together. And today is Pentecost Sunday, so they want us to wear like all white. I was thinking about wearing this dress right here. Y'all see me wear that before um, on Instagram. But you know, God might want me to be, you know, having a little two-step. And I just think that this is probably cut just a quite a little too low that if I bend over, you're gonna be seeing all my goodies. I can't just, be straight. So I kind of want to wear something that I'm actually super comfortable in. It's the only white dress I have. I'm thinking about, I do have this blazer, this white-ish blazer, and then my white pants that y'all see me wear before with like a white shirt. That's what I'm thinking about doing, honestly. Um, I wanted to wear a dress though or something, but it is what it is. So I'm going to go ahead and try on that other outfit and then I'll be right back. How could I not show y'all the outfit? I'm like literally getting ready to go now. I was recording, I was recording a video for um, TikTok. And then I'm going ahead and putting on my Valentino Born in Roma perfume. I absolutely love this stuff. It's my favorite, favorite, favorite. Um, One of my favorites. I think I'm good on scents too. Y'all haven't bought any more perfume lately. Um, Anyways, I am, I got my phone. I'm about to grab my shoes. I'm about to grab something to eat because I woke up late um, and we eat on the way and we better go to church. So let's go. I will see you guys after church. For breakfast, we're about to be eating this yogurt and yeah, happy Sunday, happy Sunday. I'm back home, we did not get a car wash. I was gonna go take some photos today, but y'all it is so hot and I don't feel like it. I did get a package from Pretty Little Things. I'm about to open that up because I know I know what I ordered, but it wasn't supposed to be here just quite yet. I don't know why I'm sitting on the floor, but let me open this and see what it is. Yeah, I thought so. So I'm going to a wedding and I really already had an outfit, a dress that I ordered, but I really didn't like that dress. So I ordered something different that I thought will look cute. It's just like a little two-piss thing. Um, I'm gonna go try this on. And do y'all wanna see it? Or I should wait to the vlog. So y'all kinda get a sneak peek. If you know, you know what this is already. But um, I'm for the rest of the day, y'all see all my cabinets open because I'm cleaning. So for the rest of the day, I'm about to just clean up. I thought about cooking, but I kinda have food last week one more day, so I could technically cook tomorrow. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna cook tonight. But let's clean it. in the mail today and these are some liners for my air fryer i'll put the ones that i order in the description box below but guys this is about to be a life changer okay if you know i've been like using aluminum foil and parchment paper all kind of random stuff um 
in my air fryer and I also and I had some of the paper like spiral up to the top of the air fryer and I had smelled a little smoky smell in my house and I was like okay you know what I need to do something different so this is the game changer okay get you some <laughs> Today is Monday um, and it is 7.52. I, the Monday is like today I'm working at my job that's a little bit closer so I kind of take my time a little bit. So I thought maybe I'll try to do a day in the life of SLP and yeah. So we're gonna try to record all day Monday. Um, let's see how my day goes. It's not looking like it's gonna be super organized because I have like, I always have so much to do. But um, yeah, so anyways, I'm up. I am about to make breakfast and try to be out of here in like 10 to 15 minutes. My manager just texted me and told me I had like seven evals and three patients to see, which is pretty typical. Um, so let's get some food going and I will see you guys out the door. Alrighty guys, I made it to work. It is officially 8.39. Traffic was really crazy this morning. So anyways, um, I'm about to walk in the building. I don't know how much I'm gonna be able to show you guys today, but normally I can't. But I'm gonna try to like get some interesting angles and talk about my day. So let's go, happy Monday. So this is not gonna really be as detailed as I thought it was gonna be, but I'm gonna go ahead and talk through kind of what I do throughout the day. So once I kind of get in the day, whether I have breakfast or whatever I'm doing, I go ahead and handle that first, and then I get to work. So usually I am researching all the patients that I have for the day. So let's say, I think I told you guys I had like seven patients or seven evaluations, which means that seven new patients got admitted to the hospital and we are consulted to come see them. These patients can be coming in for multiple different reasons, whether it's an altered mental status, whether they had a fall, whether they maybe just got out of surgery or something. Maybe they came in and they're having difficulty swallowing. Maybe they have, um, I had a patient that had like a tumor recently and it was kind of pushing into some pharyngeal areas. And so we were consulted because they were having difficulty swallowing and we wanted to see what was going on, right? So all those reasons would warrant maybe a speech consult and many more. I didn't mention a stroke. I didn't think I mentioned a TBI. Maybe I did, but you guys are following me, right? I hope so. So those are the reasons, again, we would come see them. And then also I have treatment. So those are patients that I've already consulted prior to maybe days before, but they're still on my caseload because we're just following up with them. Once I get all the information on the patient, why they came, what they're here for, maybe some of their history, do they have any um, abnormal x-rays, whether it's of their head, whether it's of their chest, like what is really going on with this patient and why do I need to see them and what am I gonna possibly be doing? So that is what I'm doing right now. Once I actually, me, I personally look at every patient, I try to go see everyone and then document in the day, once I do all of that, then I get ready to go to the floor. I 
usually spend maybe 15 to 30 minutes with each patient, but I'm not on a time schedule. In acute care, you kind of can move at your own pace. So some patients you may need to spend maybe an hour with, and some maybe you only spend 10, 15 minutes, it's just depending on the need or the severity of that patient. So once I go make my rounds, do all of that, I then come on back to the room in the office and I get ready for usually around this time it's maybe one, two o'clock and I'm going ahead and have my lunch. At this particular location, we have the best grill guy and I was craving a burger for some reason. He put cheese on it. Y'all know I don't like cheese. So I literally had to scrape the cheese off, but I, it was okay. It was still a really good burger. I like to on sunny days, get outside y'all. Being in this setting can be a little stressful. Sometimes you're having to deal with trying to find this doctor, find that doctor, get this approved, get that approved. And sometimes just the severity of some of these cases and what's really going on with these patients can be very draining, can be very exhausting. So I really just try to take my mental breaks when I can, whether I'm talking on the phone with a family member, whether I'm just sitting outside eating lunch and enjoying the sun. And y'all in Texas right now, it is hot. So I am really enjoying the sun. Um, so once I'm done with lunch, I usually go back and document. If I have more patients to go see, I will do that. But I'm just documenting on what I found, what I'm seeing, what I'm recommending on each patient. Pretty straightforward. I think it gets really more complicated when you get into the details and the different cases and kind of what's going on, especially if I have to do some swallow studies, which I really can't show you guys, but I've talked about those before on my blog. So if you do not follow my blog, make sure you go and check that blog out for more detailed and in-depth speech content. I really wanted to try to find a way to talk about and incorporate these days in my vlogs. I think this is the best way I can do it. If you guys enjoy it, let me know. If not, I will maybe just write some more blog posts or do maybe some mini reels. So let me know. All right, guys, I am off work. It is a 532. I'm in my car. It is like 102 degrees out here. Ooh, child, I'm stressed, okay? Stressed and tired. Tired is not even the word. How I don't even know how I feel right now. I just feel, <sighs> which is why I'm, I guess, when usually when I get off work, I'm. This is how I feel. Just so tired. Like I have no energy. Like I don't want to go home and do anything but sit down. Um, which limits my productivity. It's my productivity when it comes to me just like being super creative and like creating, or if I need to create anything or edit anything. Like I'd be worn out. Okay. Y'all know I'm kind of transitioning, so hopefully this is not gonna be much longer for me. So, what kind of helped me get to the last bit of my shift is I literally was just watching all my favorite people on YouTube, like camera, catching up with like Cameron Monet. Um, I designed eight. Um, who else did I watch today? Actually, I could probably. Can you see all the people that you watched? I swear I watched like three or four, four vlogs. If y'all know of anybody else, like let me know in the comments below. I would love to find some new people to watch. But yeah, I was watching I Design A. Um, who else did I watch? Cause I know, oh yeah. Like all the people that are in like the top. Cameron Monet. Cause I literally had to just like search them. Oh yeah, Octavia B. Um. Who else did I watch today? But anyways, I do that sometimes when I'm at work, like while I'm documenting, just to kind of help me like get out of there. But now that we're out, let's go to the grocery store and then let's go home, cause we got stuff to do. And it's hot, it's real hot. I just needed some dish uh, pods. So I went into this little farmer's market by my house to get it, to get some, y'all. To get some first of all why are they super expensive i don't know because it's like whole everything's all natural right but i did not feel like going anywhere else so i ended up just picking these up i also i really like slim gems i don't know if y'all like them but they have like turkey ones so you know that's a little bit better for you i don't know we're gonna see if not i'm going back to my slim gems and then i wanted to try this drink um these are like the probiotics, uh, ooh, the um, poppy probiotics, good for your gut health and all that good stuff. So I wanted to see how that tastes. I'm gonna let y'all know when I get home because I'm gonna open it up, pop it open. Um, 
So I will see y'all <laughs> in the house. The Slim Jim, the Turkey Jim, was very much not giving. I wish I would've bought Slim Jims. I would've been so much more satisfied. And I'm probably gonna have to go pick up a box just to get this taste in my mouth. This is giving very much like breakfast. And I think I might heat it up and eat it tomorrow. But let's try this little drink. Um, Y'all, I watch a few different YouTubers. I can't even say, I wanna say it was Oct I wanna say it was Octavia, but um, I saw somebody talking about this drink. So I was like, saw it in the store and I was like, oh, that looks familiar. Let's give it a try. So we're trying the strawberry lemon. Strawberry lemon. And I'm gonna let y'all know if it's worth even y'all's time. I mean, it's good for what it is. Like if you're looking for a good little probiotic, if you like sparkling water, if you like that little soda, but healthy soda taste, um, this is actually pretty good for that. So I'm gonna drink it. Okay, y'all, it's growing on me. It's really growing on me, okay? I think I'm gonna try a few different flavors next time i go to the grocery store anyways i'm being a little bit lazy i had um some leftovers but i was also gonna cook i don't feel like it so i'm gonna eat my last bit of my leftovers and then i will cook tomorrow when i get home from work but i have to work on editing some content i need to i'm working on a website for something i need to finish that and then Am I gonna study tonight? Studying has, <laughs> studying is needs to be a priority for me. I gotta rearrange my priorities, but it looks like that's what we're gonna do tonight and then probably I might end with studying a little bit. I'm gonna get something in there today. Yeah, um, I'm off the rest of this week. Well, I'm off later this week, so I know I'm gonna knock it out then. So I'm not too worried. I'm kind of like at the finish line. I just need to like buckle down for like a good two hours. And I think I might just do that the next day I'm off or create content, who knows. Anyways, we'll be vlogging. I'll see you guys in the very next video. Thank you guys so much for watching and tuning in. You guys know I love you, I appreciate you. This has been a great journey and I'm excited to keep it rolling. Um, I'll see you in the next video, bye.